Don't be an asshole. And that is being an asshole. Be present for the person in front of you. I'm Jonathan. I'm here to flip the script on everything you thought you knew about construction. How many times have you found yourself in this situation? It's you and your boss. On your side of the table, your boss is sitting there, head down, maybe on his phone, maybe distracted. Why is that important? Because it's organically sending the message that what you're about to say doesn't matter. This is a super simple rule. See this tool? It's a tool. Yet sometimes we forget it's a tool and it becomes a vice and we become attached to it with the inability to put it down. So here I am to challenge you. Put your phone away and show up. What does that really mean? That really means being actively present for the person in front of you. That doesn't mean mid-conversation, picking up your phone and going, oh, hello. Yeah, yeah, I'll call you back. Because you know what you just organically said? You just organically said the person you're talking to, what they have to say is empty and meaningless. And it makes them feel worthless. And I don't know about you, but when I feel worthless, man, is it energy sucking. Man, do I not want to do what I'm there to do. Man, do I feel like I don't matter. And that is the exact opposite of what we're doing. So when you're with somebody, be with them. Put your phone on silent. Put it in your pocket. And don't let any distraction pull you away from what you're there to do. That doesn't mean having your phone in your pocket, talking to somebody, looking over their shoulder, waving, hello, hey, I'll get to you in a second, hey. Don't be an asshole. And that is being an asshole. Be present for the person in front of you. Be present for the person in front of you. Sometimes that's not humanly possible. And you know what? There's something magical that happens when you disclose that. Say, look, hey, I'm here for you. And kindly know that I'm expecting a phone call. So if that comes through, I'm not being disrespectful towards you. I'm letting you know what's going on. So now what, have you, now what you've done is you have transmitted to the other person that yes, you're here for them. Yes, they matter. And there is something else buzzing around in your brain. You've also volleyed over to them to say that it is okay to set benchmarks, baselines, and boundaries. And the boundaries is, I'm not going to let anything interrupt our time together unless this is happening. That is very vividly different than mid-conversation. Pick up the phone and go, uh-huh, uh-huh, yeah, yeah, I'll call you back. First of all, you didn't give the person on this phone their time. You didn't give the person over here this time. And all that's energy sucking. So I don't know about you, but I have a limited amount of energy. I'm not here to disperse it to everybody. I'm here to focus it and be driven for the people in front of me. Put your phone away and lead. And be vividly clear about the expectations. It is very acceptable to set up situations where you have call codes. What the hell is a call code? A call code is, hey, for example, my phone's in my pocket, and unless it rings two times back to back, three times back to back, five times back to back, I'm not going to let that distract you. What does that mean? That means you let your inner circle know that I'm with somebody, and if it's mission critical, where they cannot solve the problem themselves, and you must be involved, then call, hang up, call again, call, whatever your call code is. Now, three things are happening here. First of all is you're being present for the person in front of you. Second of all, you're not attached to your phone. And third, you're also inviting the people who are calling you to solve their own damn problems. And now you're volunteering back to them the things we talk about, the information, the autonomy, the contribution. You're allowing them the contribution to make a difference. Put your phone away and lead. Show up for the person in front of you. I invite you to try this the next time you're on site, the next time you're at a board meeting, the next time you're having dinner with your family. I invite you, put your phone away and be present for the people in front of you. I guarantee you your world will shift. Try it. I'm super curious to know what changes in your world. Try it, explore it, send me a message, and tell me how things shifted in your world.